all praises to the almighty sublime majestic magical creator my loving kindness our power hallelujah and to all of my fellow servants in the kingdom of the most high in this world and beyond i send you infinite love and light and i receive yours yes these images are a key to the mysteries of the Sahara Sands and the Most High's Hourglass. I have said that on so many videos. The Ruach Kakadash Ascended Masters and Uriel had downloaded that these sands are the Most High's Hourglass. And we're at the bottom of these sands. And a lot of things are appearing over there in Eden. So we're going to take a little history lesson with the History Channel right now and see what they have discovered confirming that the Sahara Sands are the Most High's Hourglass. Okay, let's go. 37 million years ago, as the forces of plate tectonics pushed the Sahara out from under the sea, it created a tropical swamp. In order to figure out what made it into the wasteland visible today, scientists have to pinpoint the moment of its birth. But the clues to this mystery turn out to be hidden in the last place anyone expected. 20 million years ago, the Sahara Desert was a lush tropical swamp. If you're new to my station, we're uh, discovering the lands of Eden over on the continent of Africa by way of Google Earth. I always leave the coordinates on the bottom of your screen for these magical wonderlands. And so now the Most High and the Ruach Kakadash and Ascended Masters had downloaded to me that the sands was the Most High's hourglass. And as the sands are hitting bottom, very magical lands are appearing and at the end of this video we're going to go to a very beautiful place that has been uncovered uh, by ways of the Sahara sand storms okay so what you're looking at right now are formations left over okay somehow I guess they were hardened and they didn't go with the Sahara sand uh, storms when they were getting blown off and they left a formation see how the most high always leave us key information to prove those things that he downloads to us i was so happy this morning when i found this because it just proved that it was something under those sands look at all those formations so just imagine all of these formations were once covered with the sand Okay, and then the, the Sahara sandstorms, you see, it blows the sand off and it left those hardened formations. So now we're having Sahara sandstorms like crazy. We're going to look at a couple of them before we move on to the magical land, okay? Because it's all a part of... Uh, the Sahara Sands is actually like the fuel of the engine that carries the heat from the south to the north and the cold from the north to the south. It's said that the Sahara Sands could cover the entire globe. Okay, that's how much sand is over there. So where did the sand come from? Where did the sand come from, you guys? Because Eden, Eden is underneath that sand. So who put that amount of sand on top of Eden? Now look at this image. You can see where the whole continent was once plush. And it went to this. Who could have done that? Only the Most High Almighty Creator of Hosts could have did that. And it's mechanisms to make it a timer at the same time. Balance cold and heat. Send nutrients out over the earth while we're in this 3D. So the Most High has, 
He had a plan with those sands. Only he could pull that off. And now who do we see there? We see an archangel. An archangel manifested. I'm going to see if I can find a clip where I actually measured his, his wingspan and his height from his, his head to his feet. Yeah. Who else could have created that? Who could have made that happen? Only the Most High Yahweh, the creator of all things. And so here we go. This proves that that sand has been blown off and there's something underneath there. Okay, so Uriel is a titan. Look at that. Over 2,400 miles from head to toe. And then his wingspan is over 4,900 miles. Hey, you guys. Yeah, I just got a, a, a news alert that we're under tornado watch where I live. Speaking of all those tornadoes yesterday. Yes, but I feel confident. I know who I belong to. I'm in the kingdom of the Most High. And I know that his servants and his hosts don't miss a target honey yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil because i know the most high is with me yes we have no need to fear panic let's move on so before this archangel was here this is what eden looked like So we see that this, uh, the date on this Sahara uh, sand forecast was June the 12th. And so you see how much sand is in the atmosphere over the earth right now? I told you guys that these sands are coming off uh, in much greater volume than before. And that's probably why I'm on tornado watch because the Sahara sands, like I said, takes the heat to the cold and cold to the heat. And when that's out of balance, you get tornadoes, okay? And so, I just thought I would show you uh, just the severity of the Sahara Sands. Now, you can see where it's going into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, they said that it's going to reach Texas, a, a lot of different states. I think you need to listen to this part. And, um, uh, these were uh, generated by a volcanic eruption or industrial production, but these are dangerous levels of PM 2.5 10 micrograms per meter cube of PM 2.5 is known to increase your chances of lung cancer by 37 percent according to the International Association of Cancer and the World Health Organization Oh, praises to the most high that now I have evidence of the things that I'm telling you. You know, it's kind of hard uh, to speak on things when you don't have any evidence or wasn't written about. It's really hard to speak on those things. You just know that you got to download and it was the truth. And the most high confirmed it by leaving those formations behind and the Sahara sands, we see that it's a timer. And look what's underneath the sand dunes, you guys. This beautiful, beautiful plush land with a lot of angels. And no, it doesn't look like our reality because it is not. It is not our 3D reality. We're looking into the fifth dimension of Eden. Yeah, that, that was underneath those Sahara sand dunes. So we're going to take a look around this magical land. It's so beautiful. It's very special to me. Harley, my cat, he wants to eat dinner. Every time he does that, he starts shaking his neck and shaking that bell. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Let me go feed my cat. I got a short story to tell you about Harley, my cat. She was rescued by my daughter. She found her at a 7-eleven begging she was starving to death this beautiful Siamese cat with skin and bones yeah so she gave her to me oh look at these floaters you see I told you you, you see the typical form of them I call them floaters because they don't have feet it looks like they just float around yeah we have we walk fish swim birds fly insects fly and crawl but you have floaters over there in Eden. Okay, so getting back to Harley. 
it's really hard to find a supply of canned cat food now. It's just not on the shelves. And so she has PTSD about her food. And so I have to pay attention to her when she ring that bell on her neck. <laughs> Be kind to the animals because we're looking at eating right now. It's a lot of creatures there. Yeah, be kind. Be kind to them. Yeah, that's why I'm vegetarian as well. I've been vegetarian for several months now. I love it. It was not hard to change. I went cold turkey, and I have not craved meat. Look at those angels in there. Wow. So see the beautiful magic that was underneath the Sahara Sands? You never seen land like that and you you're looking at residuals of those sand dunes and you see what's underneath it. Now over in the area that that lady found the formations, you still see that it's sandy. It hasn't totally been uncovered yet. But right here this has been uncovered. Look at those colors popping out. Eden is a wonderfully marvelous beautiful place and it's so diverse like this heaven is different from any other kind of heaven in my father's house are many mansions the most high created such marvelous 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 areas this one in particular is very special to me and we'll see why in a minute but look at those colors under the sand isn't that beautiful The Most High, he is so artistic. I had no idea of how artistic he was because in our dimension, everything looks typical to each other. All Everything, the trees look typical on all the continents. The dirt, the sand, the mountains, the deserts, the oceans, the rivers, the lakes. All of them look typical to each other on all the continents except for Antarctica. And here, because we don't have all of that on this continent. And as Antarctica is being uncovered, when the snow melting, Eden is being uncovered by way of the Sahara sands blowing off. Ooh, and I can say that with just like so much. I shouldn't say confidence. I had confidence anyway about what I was telling you because I knew it was the truth but now you see that the Most High confirmed it yeah hallelujah the Most High with those sins let's go over that so he took Eden into inner earth he assigned Uriel the Archangel with the fiery sword to guard it and he covered it with sand it once was a plush plush land and now it looks like desolation from a distance until the Sahara sands are blown off yes and there is a cloaking device that hide these things as well we haven't ran into that yet yeah on this beautifully marvelous place it just looks like the cloaking device is off and the Sahara sands are thinned out. How marvelous. Can you imagine walking on lands like this? I mean, purple dirt, blue dirt, <laughs> turquoise dirt. Yeah, the, the whole world is going to change. We're just seeing peeks into it but can you imagine what Uriel will look like when he's totally uncovered he's so majestic now with his beautiful cape on yeah he's just so majestic with his white flowing hair but can you imagine when he's totally uncovered and transformed it's just going to be something beyond our imagination Yes, all praises to the Most High. And these things are spiritual. So he is a spiritual manifestation that's very real. Now this is my husband Randolph. He passed away in 2016. And I found him when I first started on this journey, like after a few months, the Most High gave me confirmation. 
Yeah, by showing me Randolph, his spirit is over there in Eden in a very beautiful place because this is where he dwells now, which is perfect for him because it's a lot of creatures and he loved animals, okay? <laughs> he was a wonderful husband. Yeah, I give him some honor today because he was so beautiful to me. Yeah, very sweet and generous and supportive and nurturing. And there's someone else that I wanted to give um, some accolades to because I want them to receive their blessings from on this side in the worlds that they're in. And that is my father. I send you infinite love and light, daddy. You were so good. You were the best father ever. We never had to worry about a thing. You were a great protector and a provider. You were my hero on several occasions. All praises to the Most High that he gave you to me to be my daddy. So have blessings on today, daddy. So going back to the spiritual manifestation of Uriel, it is a spiritual manifestation that is very, very real. The Most High placed Uriel there, which I'm sure even though you see his manifestation, I'm sure he moves around, you know, just like with us. We're not going to be limited. We're not going to be limited like we are in time right now. Yeah, and our bodies are not going to be limited. Well, Yuri, we see his titanic, titanic body over there in Eden which is stationary the manifestation of him is stationary but he is very very active yes shout out Uriel thank you for letting us visit Eden one more time thank you for all your works and shalom to all of my fellow servants over there in Eden yes we'll be there quite soon quite soon yes look at him oh you see him oh we yes honey it's a lot of titans and giants and creatures and dragons and angels over there in eden <laughs> oh we okay you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you understand um the evidence of the magic of the Sahara sands in relation to the change from the 3D to 5D. Yes, the Most High's hourglass is almost empty and that's why we're looking into these magical lands. Okay, you guys, Shalom, Hebrew Widow out.